Good evening, everyone. This is Bob Iacchino from Path Trading Partners, along with Mike Arnold, as always. And this is a Path Chat cryptocurrency educational update for October 10th. It's already October. In this one, we're going to cover Dash, Ethereum, and IOTA, so it'll be a little bit longer. So let's get to it. Mike, it's all yours. Thank you, Bob. So it looks like we're going to get the close below the significant level on Dash US dollar. This is a daily chart we're seeing right now at a new uh, defining point on the trend line, 318.10. If we get a close below that 318.10, then we're going to watch for a return to the 305 to 300 level. There's a target range between that 300 level being a key gain level, another key gain level being 302, and then the 50 period exponential moving average, which is a daily moving average since we're on a daily chart, is coming in roughly 305 to 306. So we might also get the first cross rotation zone. There's no guarantees yet, but it's starting to hook down. So this could be resistance. Let's take a look at the four hour chart though and see how this is looking. So we got a close here below the significant level. Found some support at this prior key support level, this 320. Bounced back up to the rotation zone on the four hour. You see resistance, resistance, resistance. Also the 200 period simple moving average key resistance then moving down so on a rally back up very major resistance from this 323 level to about the 329 so don't get in super bullish mode we'd have to get above roughly the 333 level at this point before we're really looking for buying opportunities unless it heads lower now if we do get a key close into this clear path on the four hour, we're then looking for that return to the 300 to 302. See, the 300 is a prior breakout zone also, not just a GAN level, and we have that other GAN level right above it, so we can watch for key buying opportunities on a return to 300. Ethereum has gone into suggestion, hit our other GAN levels we reviewed on a prior video, came back down, on the news from south korea rallied back up that was a nice quick recovery rally dipped down a couple times but held above the rotation zone now moving up again we have a new defining point on our trend line which is coming in at 307 19 to 20 area so what we're going to be watching for now is a close above that and then specifically if it can get above roughly this 310 area on a move above that we're watching for 315 51 followed by 323 31 followed by major resistance at 330 to 331, which also nearly corresponds to the end of a clear path on the four hour chart. Also keep in mind that this 0.125 GAN box projection, which is from the low on the 22nd of September to the high on the 27th of, or sorry, the 27th of September, yes. That 323 level is also a major breakdown level, so there's going to be some nice resistance there. If it does pull back, we're watching for key support right around 294 to 295. Then if that is broken for some reason and we get a close below this trend line, next major support area we'll be watching for is 283. And then the... 275 should we get a bigger sell-off which would change us from bullish to neutral let's check in with the daily chart this 292 to 290 is very key it's the bottom of the rotation zone and the rising hooking up 50 day exponential moving average so that's going to be some support let me zoom in here this is key we don't want to see especially a close below this 290 level that is not healthy for Ethereum. As long as it remains above there, we have the rotation zone starting to spread out and give us support. And you can see also these next levels higher are into a clear path on the daily. So we don't have any major resistance points on the daily time frame that could be other stopping points before these uh, targets are hit. Although we do have to get above this key defining point on the daily, which is right now that 315.51 level that we talked about earlier. Finally, IOTA US dollar, you can see hit our key levels going up both the 12 and a half and the 25%. Now it's pulled back to the bottom of the rotation zone. That is very key. We really don't wanna see a move below this 0.59 level. If we do see that next support level we'll be watching is 0.5794. 
to about 0.5748 or 50. That's going to be key if we do pull back in the short term. The new targets on the next rally up, let me modify these. We're going to project them from the high on the 30th of September and take them from this other key low here on the 29th which then gives us a 0 0.65910 and 0.66888 level. We're also above here going into an advanced clear path with the eventual target all the way up at 0 0.7082 should we get above this 0 0.6493 level. Let's take a look at the daily chart because we always have to keep the bigger perspective in mind. Right now we're getting the first cross rotation zone so we again do not want to see especially a move we could have a dip below here but we really don't want to see a close below this on a daily basis but below 0 0.5761 if we were to see that we'd be expecting a bigger pullback to about the 0 0.5050 area again but that's only on a close below this 0 0.5761 level this is now getting bullish it's moving up, it's making higher lows, and it just made a higher swing high, higher than the one on September 18th, so that is key. So now we wanna see it push in higher, and you can see there aren't any major stopping points on the daily chart until we get to about the 0.6909 area. That's what we have for you on IOTA, Ethereum, and Dash. Have a great weekend, everybody. Back to you, Bob. Thank you for that analysis, Michael, and thank you guys for watching. If you like what we're doing, consider going to our Patreon page and becoming a supporter of Pat Trading Partners. But if not, that's okay. Just hit like, leave us a comment. If you have a comment, if you like what we're doing, I hope you've already subscribed. But if not, please hit that subscribe button and also check out the Money Path Podcast. There is a new Money Path Podcast out. You can find it at our website, pattradingpartners.com, or type The Money Path Podcast into iTunes or Google Play. Thanks again, guys, for helping us grow this channel. Cheers, everyone.